girls and guys, it's Presley, and since Thanksgiving is almost around the corner, I thought it'd be a good idea to make a list about the things that I'm thankful for since it's almost Thanksgiving. But here's the thing with this video. This isn't a top five list because all of the things that I'm going to be telling you that I'm thankful for isn't going to be in order. So don't, don't get too upset with me if if this is not num the number one most favorite. So I'll just say this in a random order. So bear with me here. So the first thing that I'm thankful for is my pets. Now I got a cat and a dog living, living with me at my parents' house. So my cat, I'm really thankful for. She's really sweet. She's a sweetheart. She likes to jump up on my bed and snuggle with me at nighttime. And my dog is really sweet too. He's sort of a protective dog. He'll bark at almost anybody who tries to get near us, get near me and my family and stuff like that. He's overprotective in a way, but I'm very thankful to have these pets around. I don't know what I'd do without them because pets, all they want to do is make y'all happy. Like Clifford the Big Red Dog. Great movie, by the way. Next thing that I'm thankful for is my therapist. I'm thankful for my therapist helping me through my stress, anxiety, and trying to deal with things in real in the real world because I don't know how to do things around the house yet. I'm working on it. I still live with my parents. Even when I'm 19 years old, I still live with my parents till this day. I work. I, I work at the library and stuff. I'm good for like money wise, but helping around the house, when my mom tells me to do stuff around the house, I'll do it. Take the dog out, unload the dishwasher and help out with the groceries and stuff like that. I'll help her with that. I'm still learning how to do other things around the house. I'm hoping my mom or my dad or somebody could teach me how to do stuff around the house. It may take me a while, but I'm hoping I'll get the gist of it because one day I want to move out of my parents' house and live with somebody that I care about because I don't want to live with by myself. It would be an it would be a hellhole for me, a big nightmare. I don't know what I'd do by myself cuz I get real lonely, so it would be best for me to, you know, live with someone I care about, you know, but I'll live with my parents for a little while. It's just, I don't want to be a loser living with my parents. Like until I'm 30 or something. But right now I'm 19 and trying to get a stable job and stuff. I already got a job now, so I'm good. Anyway, the next thing I'm thankful for is my close friends. Now I did say before that I don't have a whole lot of friends, but there have been times in high school I've had fake friends throughout my life and they weren't they didn't feel like friends to me at all I mostly had acquaintances but I do have some close friends that I text there's this one friend I knew since my senior year of high school and he's like a big he reminds me so much of my big brother he's always there when um when I need him you know kind reliable caring and you know pretty respectful too. He's really kind around people that you meet. He is, he's a sweet guy. He's really sweet, but I only care about him as a friend because I'm gay. So there. And my other friend, I work with her at the library and she's also really sweet too. So we get along pretty well and we text every now and then and I also text my other friend too. So I don't have a whole lot of friends, but I am very thankful for the close friends that I have now. And I'm hoping I'm hoping in the future that I'll make more friends because I can get pretty lonely most of the time. All the time. Maybe I need a companion in my life. Who knows? Whatever happens, happens. The next thing that I'm thankful for is my YouTube channel because this YouTube channel is like a blessing and it feels like therapy to me because I get to ex um, 
express my feelings and share my story throughout YouTube. As long as I'm abiding by the YouTube guidelines and hopefully I don't get this YouTube channel terminated because all I'm doing is expressing my thoughts and feelings throughout the world. And it's like releasing my stress and anxiety. It's like, it's therapy to me. I know I've been taking therapy with my therapist, but this is like on the sidelines therapy in a way. And it feels really nice to, you know, just ex like release everything out to the world. As long as it's not too personal. Stuff like that. Anyway, the last thing, final thing that I am thankful for is my family. I don't know where I'd be, where I'd be without my family today. Yeah, sure, some of my family members can get on my nerves, but I don't know where I'd be without them. They can get a little iffy at times, but most of the times we're just a happy go lucky family. I'm just hoping none of that changes. I just hope nothing bad ever happens to my family. And I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm still thankful for my family. My mom, my dad, my older brother, and my little brother. Yeah, and I have aunts, uncles, grandmas, cousins. I have them too, but I'm mostly thankful for the family I have. And I'm the middle child. I gotta be in the middle of everybody's drama. But I'll get used to it. I'm not used to it at the moment when it comes to drama, but I'll get used to it eventually. And anyway, that's all I have to say for this week's video. And by the way, I won't be here next week because on the week of Thanksgiving, me and my mom's side of the family are going to a cabin to celebrate Thanksgiving. And we're just going to have a, such a good time, just family bonding and celebrate Thanksgiving at the moment. So I won't be filming next Saturday. So wait until December, I guess, until the next video in December. So I'll see you guys until then. Peace.